Assalamu alaikum dear students of class 4. I hope you and your families are doing very well. This lesson uh, is a continuation of the lesson by RMS on chapter 6. Let's uh, learn some new rules before we start the exercise. We know the four basic operations, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But there are some tricks which you can use to find the unknown numbers in any math. Let's discuss the relations between the four basic operations. The relation between subtraction and addition. Subtraction and addition are opposite to each other. For example, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Here, we subtracted 3 from 5 and got the difference of 2. But you can also add the subtrahend 3 with 2 and get the result of 5 as well. As shown below, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now let's see an addition example and see how addition and subtraction can be opposite. For example, we take 2 plus 4 equals to 6. Here, we added 2 and 4 to get the sum of 6. But you can also subtract 4 from 6 and get the result of 4 as shown below. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. The unknown numbers in some maths are usually represented by blank boxes like this. You are usually required to find the value of these blank boxes. Let's solve some example questions to understand how you can do this very easily. Blank box which represents an unknown number plus 10 is equal to 15. Here, the blank box is an unknown number which we have to find. 10 has to be added to the unknown number to get a sum of 15. What we should do here is subtract 10 from 15 to find the unknown number as shown below. The value of the unknown number will be equal to 15 minus 10 which will be equal to 5. Let's see another example. The blank box which represents an unknown number minus 7 is equal to 13. Here we subtract 7 from an unknown number to obtain a result of 13. So, to find the unknown number, we should add 7 with 13 as shown below. The blank box will be equal to 7 plus 13, which is 20. Multiplication and division are also opposite to each other. For example, 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. We multiply 5 and 3 to get the product of 15. But we can also divide 15 by 3 to obtain the multiplicand of 5. As shown below, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Let's see how this also applies in case of division. For example, 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. We divide 10 by 5 to obtain a quotient of 2. We can also multiply the divisor 5 and the quotient 2 to obtain the result of 10. As shown below. 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. Let's see some work examples. A blank box multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. Here, we multiply 5 with an unknown number to obtain a result of 25. So, to find the unknown number, we should divide 25 by 5 as shown below. Blank box is equal to 25 divided by 5, which is equal to 5. Let's see another example. Blank box divided by 5 is equal to 6. Here, we divide an unknown number by 5 to obtain a result of 6. So, to find the unknown number, we should multiply 5 and 6 as shown below. Blank box is equal to 5 multiplied by 6, which is equal to 30. <laughs> Let's move to the exercise. We will be solving the questions 4 and 5 on page 72. Question number 4. Put such a number in each of the following open sentences so that the obtained statement is true. Here we can see that a blank box is added with 9 which has to be equal to 49 minus 15. So first we solve 49 minus 15 which gives us 34. Here, you can see that we have to add 9 with the blank box to get 34. 
So to find the value of the blank box, we just have to subtract 9 from 34 as shown next. Blank box is equal to 34 minus 9, which means blank box is equal to 25. So the value of the blank box is 25. Question number 2. 9 multiplied by a blank box is equal to 36 multiplied by 2. Here, we will have to solve 36 multiplied by 2 first, which will give us a result of 72. Here, you can see that we have to multiply the blank box by 9 to get 72. So, to find the value of the blank box, we just have to divide 72 by 9, as shown next. Blank box is equal to 72 divided by 9, which will give us 8. So, here the value of the blank box is 8. Question number 3. 81 divided by an unknown number is equal to 27 divided by 3. So, first we solve 27 divided by 3, which will be equal to 9. Here, you can see that we have to divide the, eight, the number 81 by an unknown number to get a result of 9. So, to find the value of the blank box, we will have to divide 81 by 9 as shown next blank box is equal to 81 divided by 9 which gives us 9 so the value of the blank box here is 9 question number 4 3 plus 8 into blank box is equal to 35 this math is a little different from the other ones we solved here we will consider 8 into blank box as one unit and put it under bracket to find its value since 3 has to be added with 8 into blank box to get 35 we have to subtract 3 from 35 to find the value of 8 multiplied by blank box so 8 multiplied by blank box is equal to 35 minus 3 which gives us 32 now since 8 has to be multiplied with the box to get 32 we simply divide 32 by 8 to find the value of the box as such blank box is equal to 32 divided by 8 which gives us blank box equals to 4 so the value of the unknown number or the blank box is 4 moving on to question number 5 express the following questions by using blank box and find the unknown number a, num a number is divided by 7 the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 4 to solve this math, you need to use the formula of the relationship between dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder given below. Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. We have already discussed this formula in class, so it should be easy for you. Here, we list the information first. Given the divisor is 7, the quotient is 5 and the remainder is 4. We have to find the dividend here. Therefore, we will place a blank box here in place of the dividend. Now, we input this information in our formula below and get this. Blank box equal to 5 multiplied by 7 plus 4. We should use the bonus rule here and the solution to this will be as such. Blank box is equal to 35 plus 4. Following the Bodmas rule, you have to multiply 5 and 7 first to solve this equation. Therefore, we get the result that the blank box is equal to 39. So, the dividend here would be 39. Question number 2. 7 is multiplied by the sum of a number and 3. And the product is 56. To solve this math, you need to use the formula of the relationship between multiplicand, multiplier and product, which is given below. Multiplicant into multiplier is equal to product. To solve this math, we start by listing the information we have in the question. Given the product is 56, the multiplicant is 7, the multiplier here is the sum of the number and 3. So, we will take a blank box to represent the number. So, the multiplier will be equal to blank box plus 3. Here, we will treat blank box plus 3 as one unit so we, we put it under bracket now we input this information in our formula below multiplicant into multiplier is equal to product and get this 7 multiplied by black blank box plus 3 is equal to 56 since 
blank box plus 3 has to be multiplied by 7. To get the result of 56, we must divide 56 by 7 to find the value of blank box plus 3. Blank box plus 3 is equal to 56 divided by 7. Blank box plus 3 is equal to 56 divided by 7. Blank box plus 3 will be equal to 8. Since 3 has to be added with the blank box to get 8, we must subtract 3 from 8 to find the value of the blank box as such. Blank box is equal to 8 minus 3, which gives us blank box equals to 5. So, the required number to be found here is 5. Make sure that you do these maths at home. This will help you learn this topic better. Watch the video again if you have any confusion or if you face any problems with the homework. I hope you are all very clear about the lesson today. Take care and stay safe. Assalamu alaikum.